Are you moving to Moline, Illinois? Are you moving here because you got a new job at John Deere? Well, this video is for you. If you're moving here, you probably want to know where you can entertain yourself, where you can get groceries, and where to live and navigate around the city. Well, today I'm going to take you into the map, show you where those spots are so that you can make a better decision on where you want to live in Moline, Illinois. Now, if this is a video that you really like and you really like the content, well, I do drop a video every single week talking about the Quad Cities, Moline included. So subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I do drop a new video. And I am a licensed realtor right here in the Quad Cities. So if you have any questions about real estate, um, where to live, well, just hit me up. My number's down below. I'll answer those phone calls. I do answer those emails. So go ahead and hit me up. So when you're first moving here, you're probably concerned at where you're gonna get your groceries and where you're gonna get your household items. So let's go ahead and start there. Let's go ahead and dive into the map and show you exactly where those things are. So that when you move here, you know where to go first. Now in Moline, you're really gonna have basically two different options or two different corridors of where these types of things are gonna be. The first one is gonna be the biggest one, which is John Deere Road. So I'm gonna jump out here. This is John Deere Road here. This is where a lot of the major shopping is gonna happen. So you can see, if I jump in here, we have places like Chick-fil-A here, Steak and Shake. Those are your fast food restaurants. But right behind me, we have places like Lowe's. So if you have to do any repairs to whatever home you purchase when you move here, you got options as far as Lowe's go. And then you got Walmart over here. If we can come in a little closer, you'll see behind here is a Marshalls. It's hard to see, but you can see on the side there, you have a Dollar Tree connected to the Walmart. So this is where you're gonna get a lot of those things right up front when you first move here. But if Walmart's not your thing, if you go this direction, you have places like say Target. So you got Hobby Lobby, Ross's, PetSmart, and then you have the Target over here. So you can see that you do have the options right along the corridor here. You have Kohl's. So it's just a lot of different options as far as your shopping goes. Now, I love Fazoli's as well, and that is over here by Target. It's a little guilty pleasure of mine, but I do really enjoy Fazoli's. So if you like Fazoli's, hit that like button down below so I know I'm not alone in that part. But yes, John Deere Road is going to be the mainstay of a lot of different shopping that you're going to do when you move here. But not only that, there is South Park Mall, which is obviously a mall. If you're moving here, this probably isn't going to be your first stop, but it is an option. There's a Gordman's there. One of the, my favorite places in the mall itself, and I don't know if you can see it, is right on this corner, it is a Dillard's, but it's not just a normal Dillard's. It's like a Dillard's discount store. So all the Dillard's from all over the country send their items that they couldn't sell. They send it to this facility and you get really, really good deals on a lot of different clothing items and you know just different stuff that are going on at Dillard's in general. So it's a really cool option if you like to get good deals on different things. But yeah, John Deere Road is going to be one of those main corridors that you can have a lot of different shopping options. But say you don't want to go to a lot of those major box stores and you just want to be a little bit closer to maybe your home. Well, depending on where you live, another great option is the Avenue of the Cities. There's going to be a lot of shopping, a lot of grocery shopping along the Avenue of the Cities. Most notably is right here. You'll see that there's an Aldi over here, another great spot to get some lower cost groceries. And just across the street is a Hy-Vee. And if you don't know what Hy-Vee is, it is a local chain, local as in the Midwest states. And it's just a really cool shopping experience when you go in there, you have some great vegetables. Uh, I will say that Hy-Vee's prices are sometimes a little bit higher, but it is just a really good 
shopping experience. You have a lot of options in there. They do have the Hy-Vee fuel saver. So you'll see they do have their own Hy-Vee gas. You go in, shop, swipe your Hy-Vee card. They give you discounts on gas, which is also very important in this day and age to you know, get as many discounts on gas as we can get. So like I said, the Avenue of Cities is a great area to get that shopping done, but it's also a great area if you just want to get some food right away, say at a restaurant. Uh, one of note is the Steel Plow, which is located right here. Um, if you really like ice cream, the Steel Plow is a good option. Let's see if they have any pictures of what I'm talking about. I mean, look at that. That is just a masterpiece if you really like sweets and ice cream. It's just some crazy different ice cream going on there. So very cool uh, place to go. They have some great food as well, not just their ice cream, but again, that's right along the avenue of the cities there. Um, and speaking of ice cream, if you don't know, if you haven't been to the Quad Cities or Moline, one ice cream place that you have to go to, it's really a non-negotiable, and that is Whitey's. It was started in Moline. Um, right here is a Whitey's, um, not too far off of the Avenue of the Cities, because that is a main thoroughfare. They have a shop, but then if you look over here, this is actually where they make all the ice cream. Now Whitey's, like I said, is a local thing. They started it in Moline. But if you're in the Quad Cities and you haven't had a Whitey's, this is where they make it, right off the avenue of the cities, and you can have it right in their store here. So definitely a must do if you're moving to Moline is to get that Whitey's. Let me know when you do try it in the comments down below because you're gonna love it. But so Avenue of the Cities, John Deere Parkway, or John Deere Road, two really high traffic areas for getting your essentials, your groceries, your household items. But maybe you've settled in a little bit, you've moved here, you're ready to do a little entertainment. Where do you go for those sorts of items? Well, the main hub for those sorts of places is gonna be downtown Moline. Now the biggest piece of downtown Moline is now called the Vibrant Arena or the Mark. It used to be called this. They switched a couple names a while ago. The latest one was the Taxayer Slender, but now it is back to the Mark or the Vibrant Arena. Um, it is the biggest entertainment area in the Quad Cities, not just Moline. They have concerts there all the time. They have, say, rodeo. They have monster truck rallies. Those are things that come and go, but mainstays are like the QC Storm, which is a hockey team, the Steam Wheelers, which is an indoor football team. So they have stuff going on there all the time, and it's just a really cool venue to go to, and the Quad Cities is really lucky to have that. Um, like I said, as you can see, it used to be called the Tech Slayer Center. Google hasn't gone by lately to update it. They just got a new sign. So definitely a cool area to go to. And then right along River Drive here, you're gonna have some other entertainment options. Um, you see over here is John Deere Pavilion. This is like a community center for John Deere to show off the equipment. They started in Moline. They've been a big start, big piece of Moline for, for a long time. So they just wanted to give back to the community, show people what they have in the facilities. And this is one way that they decided to do that. Um, it is right in downtown. And it's just a great option if you have friends coming or you just want to go there yourself. So it's just really cool, cool little area down there. But all along here are restaurants and bars, um, some breweries. Uh, if we go this direction, I'll show you some of my favorite restaurants. We have places like Beer Stube, which is German food. And I don't know if you've ever seen the movies. They have like this big boot, glass boot that you can drink beer out of. Well, at Beer Stube, they have that big glass boot that you can drink beer out of. So it's just a really cool thing to go to that restaurant. And if you go behind it, there's a couple other restaurants back here, but there are just some other areas of entertainment. They'll have live music in this beer garden. Bent River Brewery is another one. That's a really cool place to go. And then in this building, if I can get to the front of it, let's see if I can get there is lemongrass 
And Lemongrass is one of my favorite restaurants in the Quad Cities, not just in Moline. And that is a, a Thai restaurant. So it's just a really good place to go. You have all of these different shops. Um, Lago Marcinius is a staple of Moline. So they got chocolate, ice cream, that kind of stuff going on there. So a lot of different options if you're thinking about entertainment in downtown. Um, during the summer, they have what they call a concert series. All of that happens over here. Um, you can see the stage here. Let's see if I can jump on in here, show you what I'm talking about. They have the splash landing here. They have the stage. You can bring your, bring your own chair. They have vendors there that serve alcohol, food, all sorts of different things. It is a family friendly thing as well, even though they do have you know, alcohol there, it is a family friendly thing. You can bring your kids. It's just a free concert to go entertain yourself. And it happens all throughout the summer. So it's just a really good option if you want to you know, have some free entertainment as well. But maybe concerts aren't your thing. Maybe you're more of just wanting to get outdoors. Well, your options for that are happening in Moline. One of note is Sylvan Island. Now Sylvan Island is used to be a peninsula. You can see that at one point, I think in like the back 1800s even, they cut a channel in here. They actually put a power plant on there and it powered the first electricity in the Quad Cities. Since then, it's been overgrown. Um, you can see some pictures here. You can see the old factory that was on there. Um, but it's just a good place to go walk around. Um, you see people biking there, walking the trails. Um, I do have some video, I might pop it up on the screen here, of Sylvan Island. And again, it's just a place that you can get outdoors, still be within the Quad City, still be within Moline. Um, it's just a cool place to go. But if you just want to get out and get close to the river, the Ben Butterworth Parkway is a great biking trail system that actually connects more in the Quad Cities. And you can see we're out on the river, but the, the bike trail is right here, right along here. So you can see it. Um, a lot of people use it all the time, um, but it goes all the way along the river here. And on this corner is the captain's table. So the captain's table is kind of an interesting little restaurant. Um, I see, let's see if we can go back in time a little bit. So back in time, in 2019, according to this, there was no restaurant there. What happened was the restaurant had burned down and you can see in the latest one that they've rebuilt it and they're doing really good business over there. So you can go along the bike trail, stop at the captain's table, get some food. It's just a really good place to get outdoors and see the river and know exactly, you know, that you're still getting entertained, it's free, and you get to be out in the wilderness, if you say, per se. Um, side note, if you don't want to be that, but you don't want to be downtown, another great op option is over here at the Rust Belt. It is a concert venue that used to be an old factory, and they're really building it up. I will tell you, this is actually technically East Moline, but between East Moline and Moline, it's kind of hard to tell where the borders are, so it's not going to be that far out of your way. But concert venue here, they have a brewery, they have you know places to eat, so another great option if you want to entertain yourself over there as well. And then, how do you like? get around town so the streets in Moline are very easy to understand the streets are going to go north and south and the avenues are going to go east and west and they are numbered so if you're trying to find out where you want to go just know that the streets or the avenues are going to get larger as you go south towards uh, the Rock River and then for the streets they are going to get um, larger in number as you go to the east so if you're trying to navigate around Moline, you're just moved here, just keep that in mind. It's a grid pattern, very easy to navigate if you're trying to get to a certain area. Another big benefit of Moline is that Moline has the international airport down here. They are the only city in the Quad Cities that has this, and it is a great airport to really get out of town if that's what you're looking to do. Um, it is a smaller airport, 
even though they say it's international, it still is a smaller airport. Benefits of that is that the time in the parking lot is going to be cheaper. Problem with it is that most flights that you're going to get, you're going to have to have a connection somewhere. So keep that in mind. But you do have the option to live close to the Quad Cities Airport to get out of town if you're somebody that wants to get out and do a lot of vacationing. Now, I said at the beginning, if you're moving here, it's a, there's a chance that you're going to be working for John Deere. And John Deere's headquarters is actually located over here. But not everybody works in the headquarters. So to give you an idea where everything else is, Harvester Works is right along the river, close to the Rust Belt. So if you're going to work at Harvester Works, maybe stop at the Rust Belt after work. There's a the seating, seating place, John Deere seating group over here. So anywhere you live in Moline, you're going to be pretty close to one of those facilities. So just keep that in mind when you're moving here. But you know, if you do have any questions specifically about real estate purchasing home, hit me up. I am the one that will answer those phone calls, answer those texts. I'll even send you back an email. So let me know. But if you want to know more about Moline, well, check out this video right here because I cover Moline in a lot more detail.